Hi pen friends, this is Sarah. Today I'm going to be answering the questions in Chris's um, fountain pen hobby tag. So um, the first question is, do you have a favorite ink brand? And I do. It's Robert Oster and my favorite of their inks is bronze, but I have some others that I really like, um, such as Melon Tea, Jade, Sydney Lavender, Purple Rock, Velvet Crush, Eucalyptus Leaf, and Crimson. The next question is, how many pen pals do you have? Well, I only have one that I've written to more than once. I have a few people who I've written a letter to and may continue to write more. But for over three years, um, I've written letters to Waski Squirrel, and he is great about getting back to pen pal letters. I'm a little bit slower at getting back to letters, but he's been a really good pen pal, and he has a um, channel you probably know about it. He, he has a lot more subscribers than I do. Um, the next question is, are you all done buying fountain pens? And yes, I am. I have 66 pens in my collection and I'm happy with that number. The next question is, how many people have you spread the fountain pen um, fever or hobby to? So um, I don't know if I've spread it through my channel, but I have tried to get people in my family into the hobby and I was successful in getting my dad into it, but he has Parkinson's disease. so. Um, he has a tremor in his hand that's been getting worse, so he hasn't been writing as much um, lately. But also, you've seen my daughter Eve, so she's gotten into the hobby because of me. Um, the next question is, who influenced you into the hobby? So, um, I had decided that I'd like to try fountain pens, and then I started trying to find videos on YouTube about it, and I found SBRE Brown and Brian Goulet the same as a lot of you probably. The next question is favorite, what is your um, favorite fountain pen friendly notebook or paper? Um, so mine is the 68 um, grams per square meter white Tomoe River paper and I have it in my Enigma notebook which I got on Etsy. Um, they're not selling them right now but they said they might start up again in January if you're looking for one of those notebooks and I have it in this really pretty cover. So this is the paper and it, I have the dot grid and it's really, really good with all of the inks that I use. The next question is, have you ever thought about quitting the hobby and getting rid of all your pens and inks? So I almost never use a ballpoint pen. I, I usually use fountain pens for everything. So it's really part of my life and I would not, um, stop using them. Um, you know, I've thought about actually stopping watching fountain pen videos or, and making them because whenever I see um, a really nice pen in a video, I want to get it and I definitely want to stop collecting pens. But, um, and also, as for making videos, it's been a really hard learning curve for me because I'm not very good with technology and making videos. So, um, it's always like a big headache when I try to edit my videos. Um, so let's see. The next question is, if you could meet any famous fountain pen person, who would it be? And she might not be famous, but she had a channel and her name is Mary Hodges and I really enjoyed her channel and I um, wish her well and hope that I could I, I wish that I could meet her someday because I really enjoyed her videos. Um, the next question is, ideally, how many fountain pens would you like to own? So I think the number that I have um, is perfect for me because 66 is an easy number for me to remember and it fits perfectly into the boxes that I have. Um, next question, favorite pen cases or sleeves? So I think the first box that I got was this Franklin Kristoff um, covered pen tray. It holds 12 pens and it's um, got a leather on the outside and like a nice um, fabric, kind of like ribbon fabric inside. Um, so I really enjoy that one. And then as you've probably heard in some of my other videos, I'm a big fan of Firebird Box Studio um, converted 
cigar boxes. So these ones have the flocked trays inside and um, I really love those. I have a few of these that I enjoy a lot. And I'll put all the information for um, the things that I'm mentioning in the description of this, this video. Um, next question is, if you could go to any pen show in the world, which one would it be? I would love to go to the Washington DC Fountain Pen Super Show one day. Um, since I'm not planning on expanding my collection, I'm not sure if it would be worthwhile, but it would be awesome to see all the people there and just like see such a big, big pen show. Um, maybe someday when Eve's a bit older, we can make a family trip there. And the last question is, how much space do you dedicate to the hobby? So I have three kind of small drawers um, for my pens that I keep my pen boxes in. And then I have about five feet of shelves that I keep my inks and paper and other things on. So I enjoyed doing this Q&A, um, well, this tag actually. And I hope that anyone else who has a channel will take it up and do a tag and leave it on Chris's channel so that she can see them. Thanks, Chris, and thanks all my pen friends. I'll see you later.